Beautiful Lake Como. And we are here for the Concorso de Eleganza, Villa d'Este. And that major concorso takes place right here, Villa d'Este Hotel. Well, it's only Wednesday, but the action's beginning. This is a great location for anything, but this car event is this weekend's highlight. Again, I state we're here early, it's Wednesday, but some of the cars are arriving. Here's a Rolls Royce, and believe it or not, with a Hawaiian license plate on it. And all this beautiful automobile action will take place right here at the luxurious Villa d'Este Hotel. And when you come to the town of Chernobyl, you are in the town of the Concorso. Villa d'Este Hotel, way off there in the background. And one of the things you can do is tour the lake. And this boat is probably headed to Bellagio. Wonderful place. This is Touring's yep. most recent expression. The Disco Volante, the new generation of that name. You put a car like this out here on the gravel and it draws a crowd. What a way to begin an event. Nice sounding V8 engine. Alfa Romeo. This is just the beginning of this great show. It's Thursday morning. We're just gonna wait for the cars to arrive. All the boats are arriving. Our first car spotting this morning. Good morning. Lancia Stratos rally car. Made my morning. I have to show this feature at Villa d'Este Hotel. There's a waterfall way, way up there, well past the statue. The water comes down the shoulders here in this, next to this beautiful lawn. And here is our first car this morning, or second, I should say. Ferrari Tour de France. Gorgeous. You might notice all over the car are do not push, do not touch, all aluminum, including the bumpers. So you got the beautiful flowers, the lawn, the whole works. And this is what this weekend is all about. Beautiful cars. They're slowly struggling in. Look at this MG. This was in the Millimilia this year. It's supercharged. Gotta love these cars. They have so many neat details. Class winning, record breaking, 1933 MGK3, driven by Count John Lorani, famous Italian driver, and Captain George Easton, the English uh, English driver. And Tazio Nuvoleri drove it as well. This is probably the most important MG in existence, the gentleman tells me. Okay, this is an AC. This came in. And it starts right up. This just isn't your ordinary MG, I can tell you. You just listen to it. You know, it's, it's a hot car. This just finished the Millimilia this year. Let's hear it now. Green MGs and blue Lake Como. Wow. Now you go out to lunch and look what happens. They show up. And you get the Pebble Beach winning Mercedes. Also the Ralph Lauren uh, Bugatti Atlantique. Well, scrutineering is just beginning and here's an Alfa Romeo that's uh, got my approval. This marvelous place is just radiating this afternoon. It's gorgeous. A new arrival. Well, the Alfa's buttoned up for scrutineering and next statement is 
this uh, auto boot he had V8. Hey, hey, you get approved and you're ready for the road. Why not go out and enjoy yourself? You know you can't beat the atmosphere here at Villa Deste. And the driving's a lot of fun around here too. We are about ready to see some Lamborghini history here. What makes this so remarkable is this is the first Lamborghini. Note the covered headlights. The car later had four headlights and really wasn't as good. A Lamborghini is 50 years old this year. And what a significant car to have here. The original one. Signed in metal. What a significant car. A significant design in all respects. And one of the significant things about this car is that side glass is curved in two directions. I cry with the significance of this car. This is, listen to that 12-cylinder engine. This is very historical car. Gorgeous. Even the ducks luxuriate here. And then they're finally put away. Philadelphia. Now it's the afternoon and here's a Tauba Lago rolling up. Started right up. Nice Bentley cruising in this afternoon. Look what just went by. Well, this is the uh, Ralph Lauren Bugatti Atlantique. And doing some publicity photographs. Has that great opening door on it. It is just fabulous. What a great sound. Yeah, here, here's the uh, Ralph Lauren. Here's the Pebble Beach winner. Um, Mercedes. And they're right in rush hour traffic too. And there they go. I think you got 50 years of Cobra. Here's an AC Cobra. We have a Bentley traffic jam here. Yeah. Good look. Here's that Ferrari. It's going to be in the auction. It's passing through the rain. This is great. There are all the cars on the streets at this late hour, and it's raining. This is the one the auction. Going to... Hey, Max. I. You... Oh. Speaking of rain, look what look what this whole thing started out here. Now here is the uh, Pebble Beach winning uh, Mercedes. It is raining so bad, and uh, we're here at the BMW exhibit that is usually uh, well, it's shown on Sunday at the Villa Herbe. I'm going to take advantage of the interior at the moment. As one knows, BMW sponsors the Concorso and has quite a presence here. And this is absolutely magnificent. Normally, there's a small amount of motorcycles and it's mainly cars, but this year, they've decided to really exercise the motorcycle option. And I think this is fantastic. It's like being at the museum and then some. Too many to document at the moment. There's definitely a progression of age shown. From sidecars to scooters. 
and you have the newer realm. Wild. Paris to Dakar. Absolutely spectacular display. Scooters. Everything's exposed. Totally. Partially. However, the old bikes, <laughs> they have a certain charm. Look at this one. Must be a record speed bike. A posed sidecar. Let's have some fun. A long time ago. Today. A long time ago. Today. Now we're outside and they're taking some of the cars inside. This is the auction. RM. Yeah, this is a sad sight. We're ready. We are right out on the edge of the lake at uh, Bill Urba. I ain't got it started, you can hear it. Boy, this red shirt brightens up the morning. Hey, the RM auction's almost a complete Ferrari sale. Here we go. And you throw in a Bugatti or maybe a Lamborghini. Now there's the lake out there. And uh, fortunately this one's under the roof. Yes, Ferraris. And an SS Jaguar. And a Porsche. Still a nice array of automobiles. In Italy, you have to have a couple little rare ones. This is a Cisitalia. Fitting the weather is a Bentley. When we came in, didn't exactly show this Bugatti at its best. Here it is. On well, a very rare Jaguar. Again, we say we're in Italy. A Moretti. What a beautiful environment they had, had the sun been out. I'm right near the edge of the lake, under these trees, and it's just gorgeous. Like I said, the Bentley's at home here. Another view of the Cheese Italia. We're at the hotel, and here's a Maserati that just showed up. Maserati, very rare. The got him right in is this British AC. I say fitting right in with the weather. So far this morning, the prototype's getting the uh, screwed nearing. Huh. This is that Alfa Romeo Disco Volante. We're going to make the most of it. This car's out in the rain. Why aren't we? Right? right? Disco Volante really is very sleek. Very fitting. Very, very nice car. Absolutely brightening the day. Alfa Romeo. Our second prototype. It's this show. Yeah. Where else do you have this kind of excitement in the morning? Villa d'Este. Like I said, where else but Villa d'Este? You know how I mentioned these British cars are good in the rain? Uh, <clears throat> well, I don't know about this one. Beautiful. Well, our Alfa Romeo uh, is back. Spring. Super light.
catching them coming in. That's it. Only at Phil to death. You have this kind of color scheme. That little uh, traffic jam, but this is a Jaguar XKSS. A nice example. That was Super America just rolled in. I say rolled in on a truck, but it is remarkably this car. Go into this car. This is the Pininfarina car. It's fantastic. Now this car just went through scrutineering, and it's a Meteor Jaguar Coupe, French-bodied Jaguar. Well, the rain doesn't seem to deter the boats. Well, our next arrival is a Lamborghini Mira. And uh, 50 years of Lamborghini. <laughs> Beautiful car. It's lunch hour. Now, here's a Jaguar coming into the uh, here. Great! The alloy Jaguar here. Looking very sporting. When the sun shines, this is going to be a nice little place to uh, sit and enjoy the new Rolls Royce. Two fifty LM. Well, they get them all cleaned up. Now they'll rush to the garage, dry them off. Now wait till you see this. A Bentley. A sporting Bentley. Incredible. Unbelievable. Look at this. Yeah, this is a nice car. Unbelievable. It's just staggering. Absolutely staggering. Now the truck. Look at that. Starts right up. Magic. Now they're going to thread a needle here. Try to get it. Look at the detail. And here comes the Lamborghini. It's going to make it through. All right. We're having fun here, folks. This is a Bandini. This man's from Greece. Oh, this is Bandini. Fantastic. Right here at the entrance of the hotel. Look what we have. Now, wait till you see the next car if you don't think this is exciting. A Rolls Royce. <laughs> we just had a Bentley a minute ago, right? Then we had a Bandini. Now we got a Rolls Royce. I don't know the body style or the bodybuilder yet, but we will find out. Erdman and Rossi, Berlin. Magnificent cars this year. He's not honking at me. Remember I mentioned the contrast in this show? It couldn't be easier to tell than right now. Well, well, we're waiting. A little jewel. Exciting. Going back and forth here because everything is happening at the same time. They don't come much more elegant than this. Incredibly quiet. Aston Martin. You get Ferraris going out. 
And you get Fiat's coming in. Then you got a big red truck and a little red car. This is a Fiat aerodynamic. The automobile cup runneth over. Look at this Maserati. Oh, gorgeous. Rua. Unbelievable. Absolute elegance. Maserati Grand Sport by Prua. Now here's the controls. It's just gorgeous. Back from a little lunch run. Alfa Romeo returning for lunch. Hey, what Concours is, uh, they always have to have a California convertible Ferrari here sometime. Well, we were talking about rain, but well, we haven't mentioned snow, but it is cold, very cold, and look up there. As I started to say, what concourse is complete without a California Ferrari convertible, right? Must be another lunch they're going out to. The BMW 328 just rolled out, and what a great color scheme! A delightful car. Come on. You got the fender skirts to go on. This is stick. And it slipped the little fender skirts on. And you got another car with another personality. Mm, there you have it. Tidy from both sides. Are you ready? Ferrari Dino. Oh. My car cup runneth over again today. Notice where the door swings. It's just amazing. Dino V6. Gotta get it right. that experience to scrutineering in one easy step. I heard one day there would be a BMW powered aircraft here. We've seen it, or we're seeing it. Unreal.
This show gets better and better every year. Yes, BMW powered. And they're repositioning it right here on the lake's edge. A lot easier than a car. About the only thing you could do on top of this is a uh, seaplane. Had boats out on the lake. Now we got an airplane in front of the hotel. Of course, Rolls Royce is BMW. Why not some history out here? Philadelphia. Well, we now have a Talbo. They sitting here. And again, our Alfa Romeo Touring. Uh, they're coming in hordes now. Rolls Royce, Hispano Suiza. And then you got a Mercedes Benz coming in. It's unbelievable. And there goes the Rolls. Here comes the Hispano Suiza. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. As they go down, what spectacular vehicles! Snowy Villa d'Este. Oh, this is a Maserati. Looking like a Porsche, but really not. The note to modify a roof. One of the pearly, we're going to see a Subaru concept car. Subaru. Yes, a Subaru. Prototype. Or concept. Very exciting shape. Very, very exciting. Wow. How's that door? Down goes the door. Very nice. And the door opens again. Got to give them the papers. Yep. It's a hybrid, all right. There's the future. There's a 212 Ferrari. Yeah, don't, don't bother taking any pictures, that's all right. Look at the leather around the uh, trim around the side. What a gorgeous Ferrari. It's a very striking red. It has sort of a tomato. Uh... You yeah, look at this windshield, the detail on this car is spectacular. This is the owner, Jack Crowell, from California, and this is the first time he's seen the car since it's been restored. It was just unveiled right here out of a truck. What a thrill. Uh-oh, 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 please now. It's just plain luscious. Oh, man, is this beautiful. Lamborghini 400 GT. Remember the one that arrived yesterday has the uh, hidden headlights. This is the version that has the four headlights in the front. How about this one that was picked by uh, Mr. Lamborghini over the one with the covered headlights, according to what this gentleman said. And this one starts right up nicely too. 12 cylinders. How can you miss? You thought you 
you've seen enough, you have it. This car, he drove in the Mille Millie this year and last year. That rough uh, Porsche. I don't know the whole story of it, but uh, it um, has a Porsche underpinning, there's no question about it. But it's obviously under their name, so. Very, very unique car. In the afternoon here and uh, on Friday, uh, the car is sort of out here for posturing. And look what just is coming in the door here, a Seattle. Whoa. Sibilio, it's a Ancia Stratos undercarriage. They're Tony's uh, prototype cars a few years ago. We'll say goodbye to the Bertoni Sibelius. <laughs> I love it. Bertoni concept car many years ago. Screwed nearing and the Sibelio's here. And there is that engine tucked in the back there, a Ferrari V6. Very, very interesting concept car. And it's very old, maybe in the 15 year category. Yep, the modern era. Let them down. Oh, how low can you go? And here comes that roof. I learned it's not rough, it's roof. If it would have wings, they would fly. <laughs> Well, it's all clean now. This is the finished product. The roof name everywhere. In the hood, and you get a lot of interest. Nice scene out here. The airplane and the two cars. You got the classic boats on the, on the lake, and you got the classic airplanes here on the shore. Magnificent enough of this. It's bright and early Saturday morning and the cars are setting up. Here happens to be a prototype, uh, Infinity. One of those quiet hybrids. What makes this show so good is you'll see the classics and you'll see the concept and prototypes connected with each other. The Emerge. I'm going to Emerge today into every car here. Very dramatic. Pretty exciting. And now the classics arrive. Lagonda. Quite dramatic. If support for the hybrid. <laughs> We are at Villa d'Este, and traditionally now they uh, stage the Villa d'Este Alfa Romeo right out here in the front. I'm going to brighten your morning with this new McLaren. Where do you start with this one? Let's ask this, where does it end? Oh my goodness. Today is going to be exciting. Most of the classics are coming out of the garage. Upper Romeo. 
Now this is what I mean by contrast. Si almost similar colors. Look at this modern prototype compared to this classic here that won Pebble Beach. Got to take a run at this hill here. Wow, the ground thunders. <laughs> Here's this Bentley I found very appealing. I very exciting car. One sixty six or two twelve. Ferrari Tour de France. What a great car. Runs so well. And here's the Jaguar, alloy bodied 120. You know, I think they got the color scheme in this car just about right. Hispano Suiza. Grand automobile. Aston Martin. Zagato. Very nice. Let's take a gander at this. 212 Ferrari it has its hood open. Immaculate. I saw the Francini. Already a gathering of beautiful classics. Rolls Royce. Gliding downhill. 250 Ferrari short wheelbase. short wheelbase is interesting and the little air inlets or outlets on the side are in chrome. Never seen that. BMW. Here's Ralph Lauren's uh, Bugatti Atlantique. We got the Ferrari 250 LM in the back. It's a very impressive posing machine. Place. Now we can turn it off. I mean, very quietly, BMW M1. That prototype Lamborghini. Rolls Royce. Gorgeous green color. This is very rare. Here's one of those Lamborghini 350s. Convertible. Really nice. Zagato Maserati. Another rare convertible. MG. Supercharged. Sounds great. This is a Bandini. Fabulous car. Now how's this? And here's the third one, the original one. Lamborghinis. Oh, I'm 40. Mercedes is incredible. Tough competition in this show this year. There's that Meteor, Jaguar, next to a Jaguar, and a Cobra AC. Seattle. Aston Martin and a wonderful Maserati by Prua. Two 
250LM opened up. Like I say, open a hood, draw a crowd. Aston Martin. I think we're going to have a gathering of some Aston Martins here. Definitely have to go back to these Lamborghinis. It's just a choice view here. It's Italian car paradise down here. Very nice. You stand long enough in these cars, you start to discover things. Look at the headlights, the way they fold out of the fenders. Can't help but somehow be a little bit obsessed with this little car. I am. I mentioned the folding uh, headlights earlier. Look at the exhaust coming out of the fender there. And seats right on the floor. Then you look at this MG and it has an equal amount of interest and in things going on. Rolls Royce. Another Rolls Royce. And the noise you hear behind it is the Dino. Maserati convertible, Jaguar SS, and Dino. He knows where to go, the other guy should. Oh boy. You get a park yet. I think you're just gonna roll it into place. It's this K Jaguar. XKSS, I should say. Maserati. Crew of bodies. There's a second one here. Ferrari Super America. BMW. Lamborghini. Very rare. Incredibly rare. Touring body. We have four Lamborghinis in a row now. 50th anniversary of the Lamborghini. This gathering of Lamborghinis is quite rare. And why not add another Lamborghini, a Mira? Why not? Sir Wheelbase, uh, Ferrari, California. Do another panorama. To be continued. Now, do you remember the prototypes this morning? Well, a few have been added. Including the Subaru. This is the Pininfarina Sergio, it's called, in honor of Sergio Pininfarina. And this is an Aston Martin prototype. The Sergio is absolutely outstanding. Spectacular car. It's a, it's a Ferrari underneath. Talk about exciting. Unreal. For some reason the Bentley has arrived or placed on the front lawn here with the Villa d'Estaff Romeo. You look at the Sergio over there. And then you look at this Aston Martin and you can see right through it. Yes. Julian, are you coming with or are we bringing you coffee? Interesting. The Sergio. Aston Martin. Here's a new BMW. Almost ready for production, I would say. Prototype. Subaru prototype. Subaru concept <laughs> prototype.
let the show begin. Yes. The Lamborghini that came in earlier. Oh, check of the engine there. Incredibly rare car. See you here. Yeah, let the. Uh, again, I say let the show begin. <laughs> The Aston Martins are all lined up now, and one has come in here now, while I was gone looking at prototypes. Ah, oh, Villa d'Este. Always a great show. This Maserati showing is really very, very nice. A lot of Italian cars, including this Seata. Great Italian cars. This Pebble Beach winner is, uh, a winner anywhere. Here's uh, Ralph Lauren getting interviewed. <laughs> and this is his Bugatti Atlantique. Hey, better late than never. Now let's see if he can go up this hill. See this Fiat power here now. In place. Villa d'Este. Nice array of colorful cars. The dark skies we have this morning are very complimentary to these dark cars. And also very complimentary to the green cars. This will give you the idea of the setting here. The hotel there is in the background. We are in Bentley territory and these folks are dressed to fit. Thank you. You look marvelous. Thank you. Also down here is another Bentley in a Talbo. Gorgeous. How fitting are these cars in this environment? And we have the French Comet. The 120 Jaguar. Uh, Talbo. Here's Lord Marcia Judge and Ralph Lauren being cars being judged. Ralph Lauren and Lord March. Of course they discuss. They've just started the engine up to this Atlantic. A little gloomy on the lake today. But the cars sparkle. Pretty nice environment here. Rolls Royce. Back to take another look at the Sergio. And well worth a second look. This is really fantastic. The little horses revealed on the back. What a car. And back to the Aston Martin too. The see-through model. Interesting graphics. So part of the effect. Just for the effect. Here is the Zagato BMW Roadster. You say Zagato BMW. Very effective. 100% prediction. There's Ralph Lauren sort of making the rounds looking at some of the newer cars here. Pretty exciting. Signore e signori, benvenuti a Viva d'Este, benvenuti al concorso d'eleganza. Vorrei, I just the, uh, uh, mind you infinity. that here we are giving today our uh, touring hostesses Disco taking Volante. care of your voting. A vote of who we provide. Zagato of Romeo. Viva d'Este.
It's all good. Aston Martins. The judge is going over the car. This is the director of BM Styling and Design. He's here representing this V12 <coughs> prototype BMW. Very popular and very hard to get a picture of, but he's explaining some of the highlights. We're again at the prototypes, and here's the interior of that um, Aston Martin that you can see right through. That is a wicked door. <laughs> the Aston Martin and this Ferrari by Farina are really outstanding cars here this year. This is that McLaren. You look at these concept cars and some of them are incredibly complex. And the inside of the door and then the interior. Right striking. McLaren is spectacular. This is a strong indication of what to expect in the modern age. McLaren. A lot of subtle shapes. Infinity. The director of Zagato Design. In one of his cars. And the show goes on. Desserts go round and round. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's have <laughs> lunch. Hello. Yeah, this is your seat. We've been you. waiting. And from that dining room, we have a wonderful view of the cars. Now it's after lunch, and there's a little uh, water ballet going on here. Sideways drifting of the uh, motorboats. Taking a look at the trophies. An interesting. This one in particular here looks new this year. Buongiorno, un caloroso benvenuto qui a Villa d'Esse per il concorso di eleganza 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a very warm welcome here to Villa d'Esse for the 2013 concorso di eleganza. Here is the uh New president of the uh, We also have joined the Maximilian Scherber, who is the senior vice president of BMW and a patron of the event. Great cars, how does it feel? Your first concourse de la as president of the event. Danilo, you've uh, attended a few of these now. I won't, I won't. He said, sitting behind the wheel of one of these, looking down that long bonnet through the three pointed star, is almost as great for him story behind it and it's a fascinating one so forgive me if I take a few minutes to tell you and the two of them ended up getting married and living the rest of their lives together and it was partially thanks to this car there it goes devoted to the kings of the road the pinnacle of the 1920s Hispano Suiza this was a direct rival for the Mercedes but something and he will now show you what his duties include. So if you ever wonder what it's like to be the Queen of Holland with this Hispano Suiza, which of course was the absolute last word in luxury design at the end of the 1920s. A car favoured by Maharajas, war profiteers, and the last few members of the aristocracy. And it's Hans Wurlbergen from Holland who is showing this car, which is a three position cabriolet transformable, so the car could be completely closed, you could have just a driver's compartment open. Or on a lovely sunny day like today, I set up on Chile. You get a chance to meet George, who's the only person with a Spanish name who has an Australian accent to go out and meet. George, you brought this car from Australia. Jane Moore, you in the passenger seat. The hat. Gentlemen, it's wonderful to see you. You've come a very, very long way, and what a spectacle the Rolls Royce Phantom II Continental is. Now, it's said designed himself, working from his villa in the south of France. All the way from Hawaii with Most the Most elegant Rolls Royce award. She owns the car back there. That's James I-40K. Just 
Joker's in. These eight team are unbeatable because there are only two of them, or only two of them were at the court, and they're not in trouble. This is what makes it really unusual. Erdman uh, Rossi was at Berlin, base one. Phantom one, one Rolls Royce. Right side one, driven by Alexander Schaffner, all the way at Austria, and the top tire that he likes to drive his car. Yes, yeah, Stephen Hunt, all the way from the USA. Good afternoon, Stephen. He's sharing with us his Alfa Romeo. Now, we're spoiled here because so many of the cars, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. And all today, the jury has, has all stood the up for this car. Cars are built every single year, so that gives you an idea of the various cars. Now this car, from the same period as the Mercedes we've just been, now Ron Blessing, the States, good afternoon Ron, thank you very much for joining us. I like the tweet of the Ron that goes, that goes very, very well. The 1938 Bugatti Type 57, and with it here today is owner, Mr. Ralph Lauren, all the way to the States. Good afternoon, sir, and welcome. Our brand new food inspired by, by John Pugetti, John Bairdford, and it was originally meant to be made out of magnesium. Boy, the crowd really closed in on this car, I'll tell you. So, we would have a very interesting and top of the last legs. And yet, despite that, they managed to come up with a spectacular car like this. And for this car, it's something of a homecoming because amongst the list of the who's who of owners, what's this? And Anthony Largo created the Talbo Largo. And Talbo Largo did come with a bit more forward. We have David Buchanan from the States. Good afternoon. The last brands to hold out. This was, if you like, their, their final hooray. But it wasn't enough. If you the most extensive restoration award. This really was the last word of sporting luxury at the end of the 1950s. Dean, thank you very much. Is that the wheel? Uh, Ferrari Superfast. Respected Belgian collector who has more cars than he can remember, but the motorcycle is a little reminder that I have a motorcycle show. Taking place today and tomorrow at Vila Eva. And I love the help that they're going to get the wrong way. Nice time. Good yes, afternoon. Mark. Nice to see you as always. Just 13 years later. This is Zagato DB. Very famous one. The car was in the TT that year, and I think debuted the year before. So it's a very, very important good car. I played a big part in this history, and obviously a big part in the TT. So we're in the Aston Martin mode now. The Aston Martin DB4 SS. Good afternoon. Bombs are a very dangerous fun because this car was way too fast for me. As an unexperienced driver, but uh, as you see, I just survived. Now, pretty car, exactly. Somebody knows the script that's all I do. He drove yeah, the original drive movie, drive The Italian Job, movies, one of the minis. Was Dominic, this is the car used in that movie. The I was so <laughs> this, uh, this was used in the Absolute movie, uh, David, The Italian Job. Another Aston Martin. It's really a great Ferrari boy. We don't get any P17 through at Joe Lester, so it's really good to see you. I believe that Jack is back in the 1920s. We're getting in the Maseratis now. They came from Bologna. That's great, thank you very much. That's perfect. And the incredible expense that seems completely unbelievable today. Standing in. I'm running. What does it look like? Standing in. All the other cigars were coupes. Young. Same chassis. The beautiful people are absolutely excellent taste in cars. Good afternoon. Very nice beautiful to see you. Beautiful car. 
This is really a very elegant car. California convertible, Ferrari. Ecco, la Dolce Vita, the sports car of the Dolce Best wins in the hand. 250 sure it will be. It's what you bought. Now this car is definitely... E ora cambiamo classe, Simon, siamo alla classe F, sognando la California. California dreaming. With vision, they like to show what Jago is all about in the immediate post war period. X Day, incidentally, in the name of the internal project code, and 120 was uh, the model really in the uh, California environment. The Seattle was uh, really a long time The Jaguar X Day SS, and we talked about. It's really a great example of XKSS. Collector in mainland China. Lots of uh, lots of awards. Oh, we got a Mustang. Ah, Cobra. Speed and style. Good afternoon, Bruce. I can see the change price back in that time. Beautiful car. Two fifty LM. It is. They're demonstrating the uh, doors. This is a Geneva show car. It's really a wonderful car. And here it is. Stratos bodied. I think I got these circular windows, which is the only way of yeah, an unusual solution for a problem that we have. Thank you, Good Strange car. Good afternoon. Bentlef's not here, Nadia's not here either, so... BMW M1. Look at that award. Gorgeous. Best preserved post war car. Really striking automobile. Fiftieth anniversary of Lamborghini. What is the world's oldest Lamborghini man who it said bought Ferraris? found that they were wanting, went to complain to Enzo Ferrari and was told by Enzo, you worry about track and the This is the, is the number one this very, very first Lamborghini. I would show the great fact that I should also say it for production reality. And here is George Gebhardt, good afternoon, nice to see you. This is Gebhardt as well. You can switch off the engine and drive Now here's a really rare one. Rita Kalin, and look at that. The world's oldest convertible Lamborghini. This is just drop dead gorgeous. Really nice looking. John Good Patrick Hall with the one off Lamborghini 400 GT flying star shooting break. Lamborghini Mira SV. Yeah, I very you knew you love a color for a Lamborghini. The son of Valentino Balboni is driving the car. This is a class of racing cars, and here's that very significant MG. Great Gianni Lorani, George Eastman, English record breaker, and also none other than Tatsu Murari, number 81, was it 1932 or 34? MG K3. Just last week. 80 years ago, this 
took its class in the Millimilia and just completed the Millimilia this year. Small power, but great aerodynamics. There, here's the Bandini. Alex Vazir, all the way from Greece. Now, this is absolutely a little jewel. He specialized in building racing cars. This is a Ferrari. In the race car class. Audrey, Bruce, good afternoon. And they're going to get an award. All right, here's the Ferrari Dino. <laughs> <laughs> this has been stored for 30 years, it's original condition. Spectacular. They're having a description of it. Bentley, this is that Bentley, I think it's just spectacular. This is really a, a winner as far as I'm concerned. This is the BMW, and they sponsor this event. So. Not just in a motor show, but under the sun, under the rain, out in the sunlight, wheel cars, or the next car will be the car which you, the public, have voted as your favorite car this year. But before we show you which car is one from the world we have the car. This car is worth is 100 years old. Rolls Royce, super good. Here's the Copa Doro, and there's going to be a mob scene here. So we'll get this very quickly. It's the uh, Ralph Lauren uh, Bugatti. And away it goes in the crowd. It wasn't as immaculate as this, but you know it had been used and fairly extensively used. Yeah. But uh, that's what it was. That's what it was sold for. But to put that into context, the new Jaguar E-Type in 1966 cost two thousand pounds, two and a half thousand pounds. So it was more expensive than a new Jaguar. So for something that was 30 years old, which was just an old car in those days, not a collector's car, that was all, you already knew that it had to be something special to be worth it to be done. Because for a pre-war car, the driver sits incredibly low. And you've got the steering column aimed squarely at your chest. And the airbag is your lungs. For once, yes. We're back at Villa Herbre for the uh, auction. And the premier car here is this Ferrari. It raced at Le Mans, among other of its credits. Other vehicles are an MG, I'm ready. Looks like a Daytona Ferrari. And this Ferrari. And even an old Fiat. And coming down the line is this Rolls Royce, and boy. Is this spectacular? Shiny fenders, great color. Ferrari Luso and a Ferrari, uh, Bugatti. Really nice setting here with the uh, on the edge of the lake. She's Italian. Back to back Bugattis here. Got his. Want a red Ferrari? 
along with a couple of wood boats. Ferrara Cisitalia. Again, what a nice setting. Why not have a couple of boats for sale? After all, we are on the lake. So far we've got about four or five Bugattis. All different. Jaguar. You name it, they got it. Ferrari. I mentioned setting under this these plane trees. Bentley. It's amazing to have a stodgy car like this with an engine that looks like that. Wow. The Moretti MG. My favorite. Off to the auction block. So that's it, a wonderful setting on the edge of Lake Como with some pretty outstanding cars. Wonderful setting for an auction. And they're getting the cars ready, lined up. Look at that Moretti. Bill Urban. It's Sunday morning. The car's arriving at Villa Urbe. Second car is the Alfa Romeo Disco Volante. XKSS Jaguar. And the uh, Alfa Romeo Zagato. First a Bentley, then BMW. Okay, here comes the uh, Pebble Beach winner. We have the um, Bugatti of uh, Ralph Lorenz, Aston Martin, and here's that Maserati with the Zagato body. Waking all the neighbors is the Dino. down in groups. Here is a Rolls Royce. And he's missing the point again. Okay. Cobra. And the Ferrari. Tour de France. Okay. German bodied Rolls Royce. How's that? <laughs> Good morning! Good <laughs> morning! Oh, Porsche Speedster. Oh, the fun and games. Yeah, the Alfa Romeo was in the Mille Milli this year, incidentally. And the Lamborghini, the first original Lamborghini. Beautiful, and here's that convertible version. Unbelievable. 
That is a great car. Albo. Man. Fiat V8, auto move. Maserati. Magnificent little convertible. Came around once before. This is a Zagato um, Alfa Romeo. You get it right this time. You'll get him in right here. Rolls Royce. <laughs> what a noise! What a noise! Well, the Rolls Royce went and got some petrol on its back. They're not built for traffic circles of this size, I don't think. No, he's not going to make this traffic circle. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this is interesting. Here we are, middle of Italy. How to negotiate a traffic circle with a Rolls Royce. I think he made it this time. Quietly, I must admit. Then the left three, please. When you're inside. Go left. Yes. The Lamborghini Flying Star. BMW M1. Won an award yesterday. Best restored 250 short wheelbase Ferrari very nice Aston Martin from the movie The Italian Job Lagonda MG Very significant Aston Martin here Seattle Ferrari 250 LM sh show car. Bentley and a Ferrari. Hispano Suiza, almost as large as the bus that's following it. Die forty. What a car. And the Lamborghini, the second one. In other words, the one that Rodrigo liked better than the first one. Aston Martin. Whoa! I saw the Frontrini. And the Lamborghini Mira. Filling out the Lamborghini at display. Ferrari, California, short wheelbase. And the 212. Jaguar alloy. Morning, Christian. Hello. Okay, he went for gas, I'm sure, but there's the uh, second Lamborghini. And the Cobra going by. All right, here's the um, 
Strato based Bertoni. Concept car. Hey, where's he going? <laughs> you got it wrong? We'll go around and do it over again. <laughs> we'll do it over and over till we get it right. Now he just doesn't seem to want to go in here. He's reluctant to go anywhere. Here is why the cars have so much trouble crossing the intersection. <laughs> Here is one of those Maserati convertibles. It's life of the car. With the top down, wow. Well, Fiat Aerodynamica. We've been waiting for this. This Bandini, it is superior. It's symbol on the side there. What a great little car. Kind of miss the Super America coming in. Like every event, there are cars for sale out on the street. Here's the Rolls Royce. Well, the event is open on Sunday. The prototype cars here are in front of the grandstand. And if you notice nothing else, then the sun is out today in glory. And the prototypes are over on this side as well. The McLaren and the Ferrari. The Sergio, which is the Pininfarina Ferrari. And the McLaren. Today they have the parade of prototypes so these cars will be very active today. The future. The future as well. Gotta stop obsessing here. This is Villa Herbe. On the lake used in some movies and the rest of the prototypes are here yes the rest of the prototypes and the bmw powered airplane is here it's the oldest german airplane registered all right they're positioning the aircraft now we can see it in the sun the aston martin prototype all oh, the excitement out here a lot of noise, a lot of bravado. After all that noise, take a look. This is, I thought, it's a V10. With Lake Como in the background, we're on the steps of the villa. And the cars are lining the lake's edge. And the Aston Martins are in good display this morning. And so are the Lamborghinis. It's great seeing their history here. Nicely explained. Wow, what a view here, huh? Great setting. And of course, there are always great photo ops here on the edge of the lake. Looking up the lake towards the Villa d'Este. Lake Como. Say Maserati about three or four times. And then Ferrari. Yeah, Maserati. And that is the Villa Herbe in the background. Bentley. Talbo. And another Bentley. There is the classic Milano coming in. Villa Herbe. Again, Villa Herbe in the background. And here's the car that won the Copa de Oro yesterday, which is People's Choice. 
Bugatti? It does mean Concours d'Elegance, doesn't it? Eleganza. Elegant lineup. Lagoon down the foreground. And there's this Bentley, it's just amazing. And then we're on the lake, and these were up for auction last night. This is a Riva, and then of course another one over there. Mercedes. These are Rolls Royces. All in a line. Well, not necessarily so. It's a Rolls and a Mercedes, then a Rolls. Saw the Francini and a Rolls Royce. Fancy. I saw the Francini. And the Mercedes Benz Pebble Beach winner. What an atmosphere. And the sun is glorious. And the BMW beer machine is here. <laughs> it's a BMW though, see? That's what makes it so... <laughs> now, you wonder where the beer comes from? The back seat. Yeah. What a great country here. Don't drink and drive, that's what they say. They've got a big Corvette show going. And also, this just drove up, an auto union. I've often said that a concourse, uh, a uh, auction is equivalent to another concourse. And sure enough, the cars from the auction last night are on display. And this is that Ferrari that went for a very big price last night. And on the platform, the symphony in red. And from that symphony on to the oldies with the goodies. And when the sun comes out, this place radiates. It's beautiful. Marvelous setting. Of course, the big car of the auction was this Ferrari. Of course, it's a, a big draw. I'll bet this cheesy Italian went for a big price as well. Great car. And like I said, another concourse. On the Moretti. There's the fair building here at Villa Herbe. We're standing on the podium here where the auction cars are positioned. Starting to look out towards the lake. And these huge trees are very prominent here. The atmosphere is magnificent. And they even have a Corvette display. There's a fire in the Bentley. Sad to say a fire started in that Bentley. And uh, there's white uh, fire suppressant all over the Ferraris. They moved them out. Wow. This, uh, this car is getting the round, making the rounds. It was in the Mille Millia. It was quite a story. I guess a building fell on it at one time. But that's uh, press on regardless, as it's saying on the car. Press on regardless. And so it goes. I just missed it. They were running the BMW engine here in this airplane. In the rotunda behind this structure here is the BMW motorcycle show. But here in the foreground is another all-make motorcycle show. There is a motorcycle concourse as well. Villa Herbe, the airplane over there, concept cars, and the motorcycle. This is one great show. They're introducing the judges. Let's just pick up some of the bikes. Allora, we can start now from each category. Ci spostiamo da questa parte. Iniziamo dalla prima categoria alla vostra sinistra. Jury selection of the bikes from that display we saw earlier. 
They are divided in five categories, five different and independent, three models of motorcycle for each category. Uh, the winner alone have, here. Uh, well, many of the bikes have been called out by the judges, but still a lot of significant bikes here anyway. That's not bad. That's not bad either. V-twin. Hummer. Well, I'm a judge. And we are a judge, right? I think they're all great. Two. A gnome room. So this comes with self-support. Bicycle pedals. Yeah, BMW represented by the Isetta. Back to the remaining. All these bikes have a similar trait. They have a, an opposed engine, but it's not across the chassis, it's with the chassis. Opposed cylinders, yeah. It's a BMW show. This sure qualifies. And the show goes on. Well, after the fire, uh, the Ferraris are out here on beautiful display. Well, it's lunch hour, and some luscious things are out here. And I mean luscious. Mega luscious. Hey, are we having a great time? Wonderful. Great evening. For a moment, let's show no cars. This lake is a delight. It's lunch hour. But we can't stray too far away from the cars, can we? Well, this is probably very close to being best of show. However, there are a lot more. Just as nice. Let's get a look at this Rolls Royce. It has an enormous sound to it. Fantastic. Hey, remember this morning? They opened the car with the beer. Look at the line. And then, of course, there's lunch and dessert. And a little different view of the some of the grounds here. The review takes place there off in the background. And there's the airplane. They're running it. And look at the, uh, the strobe light thing on the propeller. I love this. How's that? The Bill Irving. Nothing like advertising, right? These guys are airplane guys with BMW. They talk airplanes. BMW started building airplane engines before they built cars. I talked to this gentleman, boy, what an enthusiast. They promised they'd run it. Fantastic. For classic cars. Judges are getting the ready for the Ragazzi Trophy, which is a teenage trophy for girls and boys under 16. We're about ready to start the uh, parade. And they have some of the supercars off the side, but again, the Villa Urba in the background. Per l'edizione 2013 del concorso di eleganza di Villa d'Este. Tra qualche secondo inizieremo la sfilata. Coming off the reviewing stand, uh, here's the uh, Disco Blanca. All right, through the crowd here is the uh, Aston Martin. Let's hear it, you're on video. Gotta hear it. <laughs> no chance. And they're gonna bring a sampling motorcycle, a sampling motorcycle through the uh, reviewing stand. Cars are lining up for the uh, review and here is the uh, Pebble Beach winner. 
Mercedes. And it's sort of a party-like atmosphere with people waiting. I mentioned earlier today that they have a Corvette feature here. This is a featured Mark, Bill Urbe. Yeah, Corvettes here in Italy. And they're red, too. This is the RM auction display. Cars were sold last night. And uh, here it is on Sunday. The one on the right here, the Ferrari, is a very, very leading car at the auction this year. Quite an array. On both sides of the aisle. And here's a Cisitalia. The nice one. Ferrari Super America and a line of uh, Bugattis and others. Some outstanding older cars. Some Italian ones, Lancia, Moretti, Fiat, and a whole lineup of Ferraris. Bugatti Grand Prix. She's a Taya and a Bugatti. And others facing out to the lake. There's a race down there and a um, very colorful Bugatti. Now the show goes on and the cars are queued to get up uh, on stage and this is the next one. Rolls Royce. Yeah, the cars are being uh, called to line up. Ooh, we have a traction problem here. You know, it's sinking in the grass. And golly, I think he's going to make it. We've had a lot of rains here. And uh, Lagonda. Starting up the uh, Ralph Lauren car here. Beautiful door. And this car has never seen mud like this in its probably whole life. You see Concourse cars in average atmosphere here. You look great for the big stage. Meanwhile, they're firing up the... Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous engine there. Coming back from being on the stage. You know, this car watching can be addictive. Well, there he goes. And out here in the field, they have their own reviewing stand. Approved. And out of the bud patches comes the Ralph Lauren. Back from the uh, parade. Very quietly, very elegantly. One does not have to be looking at cars all the time to enjoy the location. Except for the music in the background. An occasional motorcycle passing by is not too bad. It's been a very good week here. And the ferry boats, they call on the town of Chernobyl, which has a port right there. And the Villa d'Este is just around the corner. And meanwhile, the show still goes on. Meanwhile, the cars still shine. Back from the stage. We got micromania here. Man, you just can't get these old ones to work. Oh, for we. It's a bison. I ain't called a bison on a start, right? Oh, watch those hand controls. Yeah, motorcycles are big on Sunday here. All right, in gear. There we go. There we go. All right. That's 
that's what happened. All of the ladies in the outfits. You're on. Coming on stage. Very soon is the car that was in the Italian job, Aston Martin. Okay, they're telling the story again of the, uh, the Italian job. Next is this uh, beautiful 212 Ferrari. And it's followed by these Maseratis. Now, so here he comes. Made to see the crowd. All right. Another class of cars going. Uh, Good luck. We just went, now we have a Seata. Here's a Jaguar. XKSS. Coming into uh, Chernobyl, the classic Milano. And now the wait for the Ferraris and other cars. <laughs> We're leaving the stage. We're to France. Uh, Lamborghinis getting there. Again, this is the first Lamborghini. Now here's the one that Federico Lamborghini liked better. Now here is the convertible. Boy, listen to the applause. Yeah, there are some names. Flying Star. The last one is the mirror. Aerodynamica. Bandini. Ferrari. The Dino. You're ready for the noise now. Dino Ferrari sarebbe stato fiero.
Comes the best to show. He's on for a second time. He was as deep as yesterday. Mi dà ancora più fiducia delle generazioni a vincere perché Rosa vince questa macchina tra l'altro. Il primo premio che vince perché qui è una storia molto lunga. And the crowd. Ettore Bugatti era un signore nato, se ricordo bene, non lontano da qui a Milano nel 1800. Era una persona molto autocratica che credeva di fare le cose a modo suo. Un and so that pretty well ends the uh, Concorso de Eleganza Villa d'Este for 2013.